This is so cute. I don't care what anyone says. This is the cutest setup I've ever had for a YouTube video in my entire seven years of being on YouTube and this is so freaking cute. I'm dying right now. Also, don't ask me how I did my hair because here's how I did my hair. Uh, I took a shower last night when I got home from the studio and then I went to bed with wet hair and I woke up like this and it's still wet and it's still drying. Happy 2019 guys, welcome to the new year. I'm Tori Sterling, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If my voice sounds like morning voice, it's because it is morning voice because it's currently 5.53 in the morning. I woke up like two hours ago, I woke up at four to start my day because I have a super freaking busy day today. So if you guys are watching this on Thursday, I filmed it Thursday morning. Today I wanted to do a New Year's resolutions video. I think I did this last year, but I don't know. But I want to do a healthy New Year's resolution video and how to stick with them. First off, I just want to say, if your New Year's resolution is to get healthy, good for freaking you. I'm proud of you. So many people that are already healthy all year round always get so annoyed by resolutioners trying to get healthy, but they always forget that we were all new to it at one time as well. Just because you don't believe in needing a new year to get started or maybe you do maybe you did get started during a new year doesn't mean that other people can't get started during a new year so we were all new to health and fitness at one point we all had a day one we all went to the gym for the first time we all started eating healthy for the first time let's not forget what it feels like to start from the bottom and to start from ground zero so if you are a new year's resolutioner i'm proud of you and I stand with you and I support you. Yeah, I'm just gonna share my resolutions. Maybe you guys wanna do them as well. And uh, just some tips that I have on how to stick with your resolutions and stay productive all year round, not just motivated because motivation comes and goes, but it's really about the grit and the integrity and the consistency of your resolutions. Oh, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload a video every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. So my first resolution is to lift three times a week. Pretty self-explanatory, but I used to think that if I wanted to get like stronger and more lean and toned and whatever that I have to lift like every single day. And then I realized that one, it's just unattainable. I can't do that because of my schedule. And number two, your body literally needs a recovery and needs a rest. So it's actually not good to lift every single day. It's good to get recovery. So my schedule is Tuesday and Sunday. I will lift on my own time. And then on Thursdays, I have a personal trainer and I will go to my trainer. In the meantime, my schedule is to lift Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. My next resolution is to drink five swells every single day. If you guys know me, you know that I am literally the worst at drinking water like i am just a camel i am always dehydrated my mouth is always dry i'm always thirsty always wanting water but i literally just don't care enough to drink it i'm just really bad at drinking water and because i work out so much and i sweat so much it's like toxic for my body that i don't drink water so uh, I'm gonna make myself drink five swells every single day. So far I haven't hit that, uh, I've only hit two. But in my defense, I drink a lot of other things. Like I drink coffee, I drink tea. I know both of those dehydrate you, but it's water. But yeah, I'm gonna try and drink five of these every single day. My next resolution is to do yoga three times a week. I adore yoga in the sense that it's like, it calms me down, first of all, which is just so good. And it gives me a peace of mind because my life is so crazy and so hectic that it's really just an hour to myself without feeling guilty about it. So I really love yoga for that reason, but also it stretches me out insanely amazing. Two, it's hot yoga, so it always just detoxes me and it's like a good sweat that I really need. Like I literally sweat out my life and it's amazing. I sweat out my problems, it's the best thing ever. I just feel myself getting stronger and I love the progression of yoga and how every class I feel like I can do something that I couldn't last class. So mentally, it really gets me stronger, but physically I feel the changes happening too. My next resolution is super freaking ambitious, but I wanna get it done. And it's run six miles, five days a week. The reason that I say this is because I was listening to a Joe Rogan's podcast where he had David Goggins on. Um, I will put the link to the YouTube video of the podcast down below. It's a great podcast. If you guys don't know, David Goggins is insane. Like he's a Navy SEAL and he's easily one of the most fit men on the planet. Like he is insane and his mindset is so inspiring he's a he's a bit aggressive so if you don't like her saying you probably won't like david goggins and he's kind of aggressive to himself but what i like about him is 
just his story and how he self-motivates himself. I think it's really good, especially when the alarm clock goes off at four in the morning. I just hear David Goggins' voice in my head and I'm like, okay, then that, and then I get out of bed. But anyway, I was listening to a podcast of Joe and Goggins and he was saying how when you are training to become a Navy SEAL or training to go into basic, I forget exactly which one it was. I know those are very different, but I forget. It was some sort of training. You have to be able to run six miles every day, five days a week. So I was like, that's a really good goal to have. So that's what I wanna do by the end of the year. I'm not gonna try and like go full on in the beginning of the year. No, I gotta pace myself and work up to it. Cause I can go out, like today I could go out and run six miles, but I don't know if I could do it again tomorrow. I mean, I could, I just don't know if I want to again tomorrow. So it's just really pushing past like the mental barrier of wanting to do it five days a week. But it's just such a big goal that I wanna have and that I wanna achieve. So something new that I've been loving is it intermittent fasting. So I want to intermittent fast. I wrote down every day, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I wanna intermittent fast at least six days a week. So intermittent fasting, if you guys don't know, I'll link down a couple of videos that I really like of intermittent fasting. I'm gonna be doing the 16-8, which is when I eat from 12 to eight. I know some people get offended when I say that I'm in a calorie deficit, but I'm in a calorie deficit. Um, I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight and tone up and I'm trying to cut a little bit. So because of my calorie deficit, when I was eating small meals, I was always hungry and I was like, this sucks. Like this, I hate this. And then I found intermittent fasting and it's like, I can stuff my face and be in a deficit, sign me up. So for me, intermittent fasting works very, very well. And even though I'm super active and a lot of people that are insanely active do not like to intermittent fast because you're constantly hungry. I have like this hour where I'm just like a raging bitch and I'm super hungry and I'm like this sucks. But once I get over that, I'm fine. Also coffee really, really helps because it's an appetite suppressant. So once I have coffee, I'm typically pretty good. So yeah, I like intermittent fasting. I think it really works for me. And it, if it doesn't work for you, totally fine. I'm enjoying it and I wanna do it six days a week. I don't know for how long, if I'm gonna do it after I'm done cutting, I think I will, but I don't know. Don't mark me on it, don't quote me, but yeah, I like intermittent fasting. The next one is something that I just wanna do to kind of track my strength. So I wanna be able to do 10 pull-ups and 10 real push-ups. I can do a push-up now, but I wanna be able to do a push-up where I go literally all the way to the ground and back up and just make it look like effortless, like my nose like touches the ground, and that's what I want. And the last one is my diet, and it's just to cut out processed foods. When I eat refined sugar, processed foods, anything like that, I'm just bloated for literally days and days and days and days and days. And I used to always complain, oh, I'm so bloated, blah, blah, blah. And I'd go to acupuncture and i do all these things to make myself not bloated. And then as soon as I cut out processed foods and refined sugars and I just started eating whole foods, I was like, wow, I'm not bloated. Like, I just wanna cut all that out completely. It just isn't meant for your body anyway and it's just not good for me and I just don't want it. So I'm gonna be cutting it out and just focusing on eating whole foods. I do wanna quickly touch base on how to stick to your New Year's resolutions because this is something that I don't think everyone always talks about in these videos and it's just as important. So again, these are more focused towards health and fitness resolutions to kind of stick you on keeping like a healthy lifestyle. So that's what it's going towards, but let's get started. So in the beginning, like I said, motivation comes and goes, but it really comes down to grit and consistency. I'm gonna link a TED talk down below that I really think everybody should go watch. It's about grit. Motivation, it comes in waves. Like you might be motivated on a Monday, you might be motivated on a Wednesday at 5 a.m., you might be motivated on a Tuesday at 1 a.m. Like motivation comes and goes. But when it comes down to it, you gotta be consistent and you gotta stick with it. That is what's gonna make change happen over time. So it's really about working hard when you don't wanna be working or it's about going to the gym when you're tired or eating healthy when all you wanna do is eat a donut and binge out. It's about sticking to your goals in the moment because you know it's gonna be worth it in the long run. So my first tip is to have a private Instagram or an account on some sort of 
file on your phone or social media, I don't know, but it's just for you. So you have no followers, you don't follow anyone and you just post photos. So I have one, don't go looking for it because one, you won't find it, two, I won't accept you. So on that private Instagram, I just post like my progress photos. So I take progress photos every Monday, I take them right before I eat anything and right after I wake up, I just take some photos and I put it up on my Instagram so that I can look back. I take pictures of what I eat every day and then I post that at the end of the day and I kind of say how I feel about what I ate that day. If any meals made me feel good, bad, did I like it, did I not, do I regret anything, do I wish I could do something different tomorrow, stuff like that. If I'm having a craving, I find that it just really helps me to take a photo of myself in the moment and post it on my Instagram and say I'm really craving X, Y, and Z. I don't want to eat it because of X, Y, and Z, or I do want to eat it because of X, Y, and Z, or instead of this craving, I'm going to have this. I think this means this. And sometimes just writing it down and saying that I want to eat something helps me not want, not eat it. I post how I'm feeling in the moment, if I'm bloated, if I'm frustrated, if I'm motivated, if I'm proud of myself, like whatever it is, I will post it on my Instagram and you know, it's kind of, it's like my own fitness journal and it's a fitness log and it's a fitness diary for me and it really helps me and it's good to look back on. It helps me stay on track and it holds me accountable because I look forward to posting at the end of the day saying that I'm proud of what I ate and I'm excited to look at my progress photos from the first week to the week I'm at now. Do your research, so read some books. A book that I really like is Skinny Bitch. I will always recommend it. Right now I'm reading Thinner, Stronger, Leaner or something like that, Stronger, Thinner, Leaner. The more knowledge you have, the more you're likely to stay on track because you know you know better than to go back to your old ways. I love watching YouTube videos. I binge those like healthy YouTube videos I love. I also really like the Instagram explore page. I mean my explore page is very fitness because that's pretty much like what I look up and what I follow and what I interact with a lot on Instagram so yours might not be like that but it will eventually get tailored to that if that's what you start looking up. So I just like looking at my explore page and getting motivated to go to the gym or to lift heavy. So educate yourself and get inspired constantly and I think that's how you're gonna definitely stay on track. My next tip is to try new things. When you get bored or when you get stuck into a rut and maybe routine isn't your thing, habits aren't your thing, you just get bored with your life, whatever it might be, try new things, try a new workout, try a new studio, try a new type of workout, try a new routine, try new foods, try a new book, try a new documentary, buy new workout clothes, buy new shoes, buy new headphones, buy a new water bottle, try new things. My next tip is to look at every week as a new opportunity because I know everyone loves the new year because it's a fresh start. And while that's so exciting and so refreshing, um, a lot of people lose motivation by like February, March, definitely by April. So look at every week as a new opportunity because that's 52 new fresh starts. And my very last tip to make your new year's resolutions stick is to get up early. Now, I'm insane about getting up early. I love getting up early. I'm a huge morning person and I'm gonna do a whole video on how to be a morning person. I do just wanna say that getting up early, the reason I get up so early is because it gives me purpose. I feel like when I sleep in, I'm just wasting my day away and I'm not really contributing anything, not even to the world or to my business or to myself, but I just feel like I don't have a purpose if I get up late in the day. So getting up early gives me purpose and I have reason to get up, even if, when I get up at four in the morning or five in the morning or like yesterday, 3.30 in the morning, whatever the time is that I get up, even if I just get up and I just throw in a load of laundry, I feel like I have purpose to my day and I feel like I have purpose to my life and it just makes me feel really good about myself. And yes, I'm human and yes, I'm tired. Like right now I'm tired, but I'm getting shit done and I feel good and I feel productive. I'm not like a superhuman where my alarm clock goes off and I'm like, let's jump out of bed. Like, no, I have to motivate myself to get out of bed and I have to say, you have shit to do, get out of bed and do it or else you aren't gonna have the time in the day to do it and you're gonna regret it later. Even if I just 
don't really have anything to do that day, I still don't like sleeping in because I just feel like I don't have purpose in that day anymore. So I hope this video inspired some of you guys to start New Year's resolutions or to stick with your New Year's resolutions. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below with some of your resolutions and we can all share them together. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Love you guys all so much. Follow me on Instagram and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Love you. Guys, I just filmed today's YouTube video with this as my background. It's so freaking cute. Why have I never filmed a video like this? Let me know. Wow, I do not look good on the Instagram camera today.